Hi everyone and welcome to Gardening Time. Today I'm going to be um, introducing you to our two new uh, beehives as well as giving you an update on our vegetable garden beds. So let's start right here with our two hives. So if you have been following us, you'll know that last spring we purchased a single honeybee uh, nuke and it did fine all year long until towards the end of the summer. We, we think that uh, the hive swarmed and we didn't catch it in enough time and um, we ended up losing the queen and it was so late in the season that um, there really wasn't much that we could do. So um, we uh, ended up buying two new honeybee nukes this spring actually it was on the 11th of may and so we're going at it again and um so yeah so these are our two new uh honeybee nukes and everything is going great uh the bees um we've already added on an additional deep um, and we're going to go back into the hive this weekend and see if we uh, need to further increase, add a super on top of this, if they're ready for that. Um, but uh, so far, fingers crossed, everything is going great. The bees seem to really be enjoying their home. So um, next thing I want to show you guys is give you guys an update of our vegetable garden beds. So let's go. Okay, let's go ahead and start the tour on the vegetable garden beds right here on our newest vegetable garden bed. This one, we built this bed out of cinder block and we built it um, in the spring of last year. So this is actually the first year that we're getting to use the bed in um, right off the bat. Last year, I uh, started a few things in the early summer, but I really didn't get you get to utilize the, the full access of the bed throughout the whole season. So this year um, I planted this garlic last fall and it's all come up and looking really great. Further on down, I have, you can see all along the edge of this bed um, here, I have some lettuce and we have been harvesting off of that now for about a week. Um, so this bed, I don't know if I had mentioned this before, this bed is, I believe, um, 20, about 20 feet long by, I think, 5 feet wide. So it's a, it's a pretty good sized bed. And um, the other things I have planted in the bed, I have on the other side, along the other side of this bed, I have some spinach growing. And in the center here, right here, I have a ribbed Italian uh, zucchini and then I also have four eggplants here's one here one here and then there's two um, on the other side um, and I also have some sunflowers in here there is a smaller variety of a branching sunflower uh, I, I mainly put those in for the bees um, to attract bees to this area and I have some minsu here. This is a edible uh, vegetable. You can eat it um, both like as a, in a salad or you can also use it in stir fries. It's my first year growing it. So um, I'll let you guys know what I think of the taste once we're able to harvest some of it. Right here I have a, uh, this is a white scallop squash and I grew this variety last year it does very well for us we usually get uh, several fruits off of the plant and I haven't had any problems with the plants succumbing to insects so it seems to be a very uh, robust and uh, um, what's the term I'm looking for a variety that is resistant to um, pest <clears throat> And further down, I've got more, a couple more rows of this lettuce, which um, I'll put the variety, uh, the name of this variety on the screen for you. I can't think of it 
right now off the top of my head, but it's a really um, very tasty variety. We've, we've, like I said, we've, we've been harvesting off of it now for the past week. Um, I also have in here some, a couple of kale plants and uh, these uh, three plants here are purple sprouting broccoli. First year growing those. Okay, I wanted to give you guys a quick update on our blueberries, um, our blueberry plants that we have growing along the fence line of our raised vegetable garden beds. These are all doing really well. This is their second year in the ground in this bed. And um, they're all, ha they all have uh, lots of berries on them. I'm going to show you this one here. This is this is a blue crop variety and I'm just really happy with so far the growth on these plants as well as their fruit production that they that they're putting out. They seem to really be liking their home. All right, inside the raised vegetable garden bed area, I wanted to uh, show you what we've got going on in our raised beds. Um, this bed here, I have mostly tomato plants growing in this bed. Uh, and so the first, the first three tomatoes um, that I have growing in this bed are cherry tomato varieties. I have a red, a yellow, and a, a black cherry variety growing. Further on down, I have, these are our Roma tomatoes. And I believe we've got 15 or 16 Romas this year growing and they're all doing really well. I started all these from seed as I have um, for the past several years and they all seem to be doing really, really well. So fingers crossed we get a really good harvest this year. Now I also have uh, these plants here which are a salsify and the roots of these plants are supposed to be really delicious. Never tried them before. This is our first time growing them. These were overwintered from last year. Uh, I probably should have dug them up last fall and to harvest the roots, but I, I didn't. Um, and so I'm, what I'm doing is I'm gonna let these finish off flowering. And once they're done flowering, they're, they're uh, related to dandelions and uh, when, when they're done flowering, the flowers will turn into those huge dandelion puff balls. Um, and, you know, be, they'll be filled with seeds. Of course, I'm going to cut the seed heads off, save the seeds. And then this fall, I'm going to uh, try harvesting the whole plant and seeing what we get. But so far, the plants are extremely um, healthy and they're really good at attracting uh, the beneficial insects. Okay, this is at the end of this bed. At the end, I have um, two plants here that are called Lovage. Uh, this is my first experience working with Lovage, and I am absolutely loving this plant. I am growing some more of this out on the west side garden. As you can see, these plants um, get quite tall and the leaves taste actually to me the leaves taste like celery although some people will claim that the they they taste more like parsley but either way they're delicious in salads as well as you can use them in soups or any dishes where you would need to use celery and they're perennial that's the best part of all i forgot to mention is these plants are perennial they come back every year Okay, I wanted to show you our strawberry bed. I have been growing strawberries in, this is this, the, um, the second bed. This is the one that's closest to my husband's shop. And we have been growing strawberries in this section of the bed for the last five years. And they're doing really, really good. Um, they're loaded, if you can see, 
loaded up with strawberries. And um, I went ahead and I put some straw down um, in the bed. Straw seems to really help these plants. I don't know if it helps to keep them cool, um, if it helps to keep the pest off. Um, whatever it does, it seems like whenever I use straw um, as a mulch around strawberries, they always seem to do a lot better in terms of staying green and looking really lush. Okay, and here are some more tomato plants. In, there are six of them in this other bed, and these are all the slicing tomatoes that we have. We have uh, three different varieties. One is a, uh, it's a beefsteak. The other is a brandywine, pink brandywine. And then the last is a Rutger. First, you're growing the Rutger. So, well, I'll let you guys know how that one goes. But so far, the plants are all looking really, really good. Um, you can see I have some rogue strawberries that have escaped their um, section of the <laughs> of the garden bed. I'll be digging these up um, after they're done fruiting, um, probably closer to the end of the year, and replanting these in this back in the strawberry bed. Okay, over here I've got our peppers, and they're all uh, in place, and they all seem to be doing fine. Um, so we have three different types of peppers that we're growing this year. One is our the uh, bell peppers, and then I have some jalapeno peppers, and then I have a variegated uh, leafed pepper um, and I can't I can't think of the name oh it's called I see it right there it is called oh jigsaw the jigsaw pepper and that is let me get in close so you can see the leaves that is this pepper here so you can see there's a lot of variegation in the in coloring on the leaves. It's supposed to be a really beautiful plant once it once it starts to take off. And the peppers are supposed to be similar in in terms of heat to the jalapeno peppers. Okay, I have some more lettuce growing in here. And then along the trellis on this side, I have my green beans all growing. I have some slow bolt cilantro growing in here. This is a parsley that overwintered. It's a uh, curly leaf variety. And then uh, along this side here, I have all of my flat leaf parsley growing. This large plant here is one that overwintered. I didn't plant this. It was a um, one that planted itself somehow. And this is a catnip. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to harvest this plant this weekend and dry the leaves for the, for the kitty cats because they love catnip. Okay, I wanted to show you on the other side, the other bed along the trellis. Uh, this has not been so far much of a success. On in this garden, on this side of the trellis, I have been planting all of my cucumbers, and this is this is the Armenian cucumber. This is the only cucumber so far that has lived for my transplants. Um, I did plant some pickling um, cucumbers. Those are coming up. I need to replant some silver slicers. Those were growing in this section here. They have all died. And then over here, I have some Minnesota midget cantaloupes. Um, I've only got two of those that have, that have uh, made it so far. So, and then down here at the end, I lost all of these cucumbers. This was a burpless hybrid cucumber. So all of those have died back. So I'm gonna to need to do some replanting in this bed. 
Okay guys, so that was an update on what we have growing currently in our vegetable garden beds. Hope you guys are having a wonderful and blessed day and we'll catch you guys on the next video. Take care, bye-bye. <laughs>